Well, we couldn't come all the way to Germany and do a show called Mega World and not mention the most popular car company in all of Europe. Of course, I'm talking about Volkswagen, makers of this beauty, the original Volkswagen Bug. Oh. What a timeless classic. You know, the company continues to make waves in the automotive industry by taking our idea of what a car factory should be and turning it upside down. Or maybe I should say, inside out. Paul and Brigitta Vitalios could be entering Germany's newest art gallery. Or maybe it's a concert hall. Or a really upscale hotel. Well, think again. They're here to buy a car. They've come to one of the most innovative manufacturing facilities in the world. It's in the heart of downtown Dresden, a city best known for its historic buildings. But that's changing thanks to Volkswagen's new transparent factory. As the name transparent factory says, it's transparent. You can see everything here in the transparent factory. Part assembly plant, part museum, it's the only factory in the world where you can peer through glass walls and see cars being made right before your eyes. Instead of concrete, the floors are Canadian maple. Instead of dark overalls, all the workers wear white, right down to their fingertips. And everywhere you look, there's glass, glass, and more glass. It's all meant to symbolize the high-quality, high-end vehicle they produce here, a luxury car called the Phaeton. But selling the people of Dresden on the idea of a downtown factory required some creative thinking. So they expected, like, big traffic, pollution and noise. And what we now have is a very quiet place and with almost no traffic because all of our parts we're getting with a cargo tram. The VW cargo trams share streetcar tracks with the city's public transit vehicles. They deliver auto parts directly to the factory. Inside, the parts are sorted into containers. A robotic sled then drives each container through the assembly hall, up and down elevators, finally parking beside one specific car body. The robots find their way with the help of a special magnetic guidance system. So this driverless transportation system is orientating by over 60,000 magnets embedded in the floor like a road map. With the correct parts at hand, the assembly team set to work. And while they work, they're gently put into motion. The entire production line sits on a wide conveyor belt built into the floor. It moves ever so slowly in a big loop around the factory. The floor also delivers power for tools and computer systems. This portable workstation is getting the energy by induction from the floor and it runs this computer system. So this computer tracks every screw for safety relevant systems like the airbag system. These intelligent tools actually register when a specific bolt or screw is fitted. That way the computer knows when each car is ready for the next assembly stage. One screw is missing and then this car's ready. After one complete lap on the floor conveyor, the cars begin a second tour of the factory, this time suspended from on high. And the suspended conveyor is a system which was developed with the University of Dresden to move the cars and, of course, uh, to get the cars in different positions so we can change the angles and the height of the cars for each worker to have the best position for him to do his working steps individually on his car. With the electric car lifter, I can adjust it so I can work at any angle. For example, I can work underneath the floor panel here to do things like plug in these air hoses. The chassis seemed to float overhead as if performing some sort of bizarre automotive ballet. To enjoy the show, tourists are invited right into the assembly area. When I came here, during this uh, working here in the transplant factory, whatever I did was visible for everybody. And but you get used to this. It's kind of uh, two, three weeks, and it's kind of normal. Customers get the best view of all right on the production line. Paul and Brigitta are here to see the most crucial stage. A robotic sled moves the drivetrain into position. It then gets bolted to the chassis. 
It's sort of like some James Bond version of the future come to life. Some customers go even further and actually help build their new ride. One time we had some women from Saudi Arabia and they were really like, like doing all the screws and they didn't want to stop. <laughs> At the end of the line, the newly minted Phaetons go through a series of quality control checks. Here we are now on the final check. This is a light tunnel. Here we are checking the lacquer and we are checking for scratches and for small imperfections. And you see here we have different lights. We want to simulate with this light, every light, what you find also in nature. After a final buff and polish, it's off to the storage silo, yet another unique feature of the transparent factory. Each new car will wait here for its new owner. Unless, of course, the new owner is already waiting for his or her new Phaeton. In that case, there's only one thing left to do.